Okay, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Director Reviews and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be addressing a kind of a normal problem with Volkswagen cars. So if you've been a Volkswagen owner for the past couple of years, you will know that the common problem is with this engine insulation, the heat insulation on top. And that always comes apart after a while, after many years, especially with Malaysia's tropical weather that uh, happens pretty often. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys or at least attempting on replacing this without spending anything more than 50 ringgit. You know, because this this piece right here actually costs around five to 600 ringgit. And I think that is a ridiculous amount for a piece of insulation. So I went online on Lazada and tried to find an option, another option where I can actually replace this without spending that amount of money. So I have right here some soundproofing with a sticky back tape. So all you need to do is actually cut them to the size that you want and try to get it fitted. I hope it works. I mean, this is an attempt. Not sure whether this video is gonna be successful or not, but we'll see in the next couple of minutes when I start to align and do the measurements and stuff like that so I can replace the drooping heat insulation as you can see right here this is really an eyesore trust me and my intake is coming soon I actually purchased the MST intake so I do not want this drooping thing right here to actually cause like the dust to get sucked into the filter so that's the reason why I'm doing this video first before the intake comes in next week I guess alright so without further ado if you have not subscribed to this channel do hit the subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post and without further ado let's get right into the heat insulation replacement for the Sirocco 1.4 TSI alright guys you can see now the heat insulation is uh, completely removed I did drop two clips into the engine bay I have to find them later on but anyway the clips was pretty easy and just a tap away so you just have to dig it out it's very simple and this is how the hood looks without the insulation I do have to do some cleaning uh, it's pretty dirty inside here so I'll be using Maguire's interior detailer to actually just clean up all the stuff that's right here you can see it's super dirty but right now uh, just to make this happen I will have to align and get the measurement right so I'll be tracing this on top of the new heat insulation the sound and heat insulation that I have right here to try it and get a pretty good fit if that doesn't work however I will try to just uh, probably just stick it around this area the empty spaces right here because if I don't do that uh, the heat from the engine and the turbocharger will actually damage the paint on the top of the hood so that's the reason why they have this besides the sound and the basic heat insulation it actually will damage the paint because of how hot the engine will be so that's the purpose of this heat insulation so it's very important that actually you keep the dimensions pretty much factory that's what we're going to be trying to do here but uh, if that doesn't work then i'll just be patching these pieces up all right so let's get right into it Alright guys, so I just did the first piece. I couldn't put the whole thing like exactly like the original one. To be honest, it doesn't look good. Uh, I still have to do some trimming around the edges because I feel it's a bit rough. But uh, it's a good attempt. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually dealing with this material. So I think it's a great start at least. Uh, I still have like quite a lot of soundproofing left. So I'm going to try that. Uh, with the other three more pieces, the three triangle pieces. One, two, three. Uh, let's hope those 
turn out well because uh, so far this has been okay but not really up to my expectations all right so let's continue the other three pieces and we'll be right back all right guys so anyway before i did the other three pieces i decided to do some trimming as you can see right here looks so much better looks much neater i decided to trim it on the hood itself yeah i did some damage to the paint but i mean overall it looks good so i think that's a major improvement so now i'll be continuing to the balance tree pieces and then i will show you after they're done installing all right guys so finally we are done it was one of the hardest mods i did on my car i mean because it's a diy thing right so anyway this is the end result honestly not too bad um acceptable i had to do a lot of trimming after even after cutting it and measuring it because uh, the foam started breaking apart i guess because my either my, i'm using the wrong tools or something like that but this is the first time i'm dealing with this material so yeah i think it's a pretty good attempt overall and it's uh, pretty successful and honestly i'll take this any day this is so much cleaner there's like drooping and uh, fluff is starting to come out from the board itself let me give you a closer look really not a good look at all but i think overall i'm satisfied with the job uh, i'll probably do some touching up maybe tomorrow or something because i'm running out of time and i'm running out of battery as well but uh, overall i think it does a job it will definitely protect the hood itself from getting burned by the engine heat so that's the whole purpose of this video and it costs less than 50 ringgit so it's a win-win situation for me uh, all right so if you did like this video give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel definitely have more things coming up i have the mst intake installed next week so i will diy myself again because it's uh malaysia is on lockdown again so we can't go anywhere so anyway that's for another video so thanks for watching i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one